Today we're going to talk about rates. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Mark Scott and thanks so much for checking out another voiceover tip. Today's question comes from email to mark at markscottvoiceover.com and it comes from Mark, but not me. The question is, I would love to know how you establish your rates with a new client. I'm always trying to keep the rates up, but I'm always anxious when I give them a dollar amount. Thanks so much for taking the time to send that in, Mark, and it is actually a really great question. But it's actually more of a mindset issue than it is a rates issue. I want you to think about it like this. We pay fixed rates every day for all kinds of things. We pay fixed rate to heat our house. We pay fixed rate for our cable bill. When we walk into Walmart, we look at the price of a pair of pants and we pay it. When we walk into the grocery store, we look at the price of groceries and we pay it. When we order a pizza, we walk into the restaurant and we pay the price of the pizza. When we walk into the car dealership, we see the price of the car and that's the price that we're going to pay. And if we're hiring a service, whether it's a mechanic, a plumber, electrician, when we see what the rates are, we pay the rates and we never question it. The only time that we ever seem to have a problem with it is when it's for our services. And this is something that is very common among voice actors. So if you feel this way, don't feel like you're the only one. For some reason, when it comes to rates, we all get nervous about sharing those rates. And we're always worried about whether or not people are going to pay our rates. And this is why I think that it's a mindset issue more than it's a rate issue. You don't think that Walmart's worried about the price that they're charging for pants. And when you call the electrician, you don't think that he's on the other end shaking in his boots wondering whether or not you're going to accept the price that he quotes. The key here is knowing your value, accepting your value, and being confident in your decision. So when you go to quote a job, you're quoting with confidence, knowing that you are providing a valuable service. So there are a couple of things at play here. First and foremost, you have to be able to deliver the goods. You have to be confident in your skills, confident with your studio and with your sound. And if you know that you are providing your client with a valuable service, then you need to be confident in your rates. If you're sending a quote out to a client and you're asking them if they'd be willing to pay the rate or asking what they think of a particular rate, that's not quoting with confidence. That's quoting with the assumption that they're probably not going to like it and you're leaving the door open for them to negotiate, which is when they're probably going to come back and try to negotiate. And negotiation always goes down, or at least almost always goes down. So the key here is being confident in yourself, in your ability, and the rates that you have set. Those rates are going to be set based on the things that we talked about, your skill set, your studio, your ability to deliver. You also need to take into consideration industry averages, industry standards, never under quote based on industry standards because that hurts all of us as voice actors. But when you put the price out there, you just have to accept this is my worth and they can take it or leave it. I've lost countless jobs in the past because people weren't willing to pay my rates, but that's okay. That's why you're always going to have a dollar store and high-end luxury retailers. There's always going to be the different ends of the spectrum. Some people are going to be able to pay for the top-end voice actors and some people are not going to be able to pay for the top-end voice actors. The ones that can't pay the rates that you're asking are people that you probably don't want to work with anyway because they're not seeing your value. You don't want to work with people who aren't seeing your value. So it really is a mindset issue. Are you confident? Are you quoting with confidence? If you are, then trust that when you put it out there, you're going to book the jobs that you're supposed to book and don't stress about the ones that you don't. Here's a great example from my own business. My bookings this year, I'm at about 100 less jobs this year. Almost 100 less jobs in 2017 than 2016, but my income is actually higher. And the reason for that is because my price per booking went up. I reevaluated some of my rates at the beginning of 2017. I had to part ways with several clients who weren't willing to come up to my new rates, but I had to trust that because I offer a professional service, a service of value, that I was going to replace those low paying clients 
with clients that were willing to pay my new rates. And so even though I've booked almost 100 less jobs, my income is actually higher because my price per booking went up. Know your rates, stand by your rates, be confident with your rates, and don't worry about the rest. Got a tip or got a question that you would like answered in an upcoming tip? Fire off an email to mark at markscottvoiceover.com and don't forget to like and follow my page at facebook.com slash markscottvoiceover. Remember, if you follow it, you'll get notifications every time I'm posting new content. And of course, there's years worth of blogs and resources and quality content on my website at markscottcoaching.com. Thank you.